My name is Matthew Deering. Uh, I work for Fuller Engineering at of Carmel, Indiana, and today we're going to cover the primary settings on the ACH 580 and how to start up a drive pretty much in hand mode. First of all, you would turn on your drive uh, with bypass and you're gonna have your enable light turn on and your drive light turn on. Next, we're gonna go up here to our, our main drive screen and see our output frequency, motor current, and AI1 actual value. First, we're gonna hit menu, then we're gonna select primary settings, HVAC quick setup, and from here we're going to start going down. As you can see we can't change our start and interlock because we have a bypass. Um, we're going to scroll down. The first thing we're going to see is our minimum frequency. We're going to edit our minimum frequency and we can just go to 15 Hertz. For most fan or pump applications, you can edit this higher or lower as you choose, but for now we're going to use 15 hertz. Let's hit select. So now we can see we've changed to 15 hertz minimum. Go down. Our acceleration time, depending on if it's a fan or pump or the application, we can edit that. 30 seconds is the default, and we can just bump that to 60 seconds. You can see it's saved. Next, we're we'll scrolling down to our motor nominal values. Hit select. This is where you're going to input your nameplate information directly off your motor. Say our current is 10 amps. We'll hit the side arrow and we can just bump this up however you choose to go. 10 amps. Hit save. Speed is our RPM off the motor. So we want 17.75 save. Voltage, this is a 460 volt drive so we need a 460 volt motor so we don't need to edit that. Our frequency, it's a 60 hertz motor, we don't need to edit that. The type of motor is asynchronous or induction motor, we don't need to edit that. And our power is 7.5 horsepower, this is a 7.5 horse drive, we're going to put it on a 7.5 horse motor or if it's smaller, say it's a 5 horse, you can hit the side arrow and take it down to a five horsepower. But for now, we're gonna leave it at seven and a half. Hit save. So the next thing we're gonna do is hit next. And you can see it checks, takes us directly to our motor limits. 15 hertz minimum, 60 hertz max, and our max current. We can edit that. We'll just drop that down to 13. So our nameplate times 1.15. Hit next. And it asks, do you want to save these changes? And yes, we do want to save these. So our motor nominal values are in there. If you'd like to set up the time and date, it's right under here. And if you needed to recheck anything you could go into your limits right here and double check your minimum maximum so those are all good and saved if we wanted to change our acceleration time we could do it in our ramp settings and we're pretty much done in the primary settings for right now so we've got our motor information our limits our current uh, our acceleration time so now we can go to our drive and hit the hand button when we know it's safely okay to ch check the rotation of our motor. I don't have a motor hooked up right now. So when I hit hand, it's not going to do a motor identification run. But if you were hooked up to a motor, it's gonna give you a, a warning that says first start identification run. You're gonna let that go through and you're going to allow that identification run to be performed. Once it's performed, you can hit the hand button or, the, or it will start spinning, and you can see your frequency start to climb, your motor will start to spin, and at that point you can see if it's forward or backwards or if you need to change rotation, but you can see it climbing up to 15.1, uh, but we're going to back it down to 15 once it gets there, and 
even if I hit the down arrow, it won't let me go lower than 15 hertz because that's what we set our minimum to. And then if you wanted to, if you were ready and everything's good, you could hit the up arrow in hand and you can see the hertz start to climb. And it, it, I can't go over 60 hertz. So then it's gonna take 60, about 60 seconds to get to that 60 hertz because uh, that's what we set for acceleration time. And that arrow is going to be dashed until it gets to the correct speed. And as our motor would be connected, our current would start going up. So we've reached 60 hertz. And our arrow is now solid. And we can see we're running in hand. If I put it in auto and my start command is good, my start command has jumped in the bypass. So I have a start command, but no speed signal. So it's just going to fall back down to minimum frequency. As you can see, it's going back down because there's, the reference is at 15. And now I will just turn the drive off. And you can see the drive stop and goes to off right there. And that's how you start up a drive ACH 580 in hand.